here checking the date and it's kind of like reminiscing on how it was for me coming to America. In fact, today is my seventh anniversary since I've been here and let me show you my passport. That's the date right there. I don't want to show you the rest of the info. I don't think I'm allowed to even do that, but I don't use this anymore. It's my Jamaican passport. That right there on the 16th of October was the date I landed here. I don't want to expose my personal info, so. But look at that, man. On that day, my life changed and I was no longer living in Jamaica. I was officially a permanent resident alien in the United States of America. I feel like Eddie Murphy right now. Port. Yep, this is my old passport. Yeah, that's what they did back in Jamaica. Out of many one people. They got the Arawak Indians here and crocodile on top. Yep, and for some reason, mine was brown. But my two kids, theirs were blue. I don't know why was like this I think they changed something and it was no saying Caribbean community I guess they did some changes before I got these because I had mine before the kids I don't have that but yeah this is what they the last one I saw when I was there looked like this one right here I guess they are doing something like the people in Europe do that EU stuff where they team up as like a whole European Union stuff so it was saying Caribbean community here yep so my two daughters Imani and Asha theirs were blue and mine's was brown or whatever this color is it looks brownish it might be considered something else and see this right here to the average person this is nothing to a Jamaican this is like the golden ticket man when you go to the embassy and you end up with one of this in your hand it's like winning the lotto people in America have no idea how important it is to just have this when you go into that building yep they see you with this and they know you made it it's like your ticket to a second life I still have them all these years man the date says let me see right here September the 28th yep that's when I was officially granted permission to live in this country and I was awaiting just to get myself together get myself a plane ticket and stuff and wait for them to deliver the visa because I had to wait like a couple more days for them to deliver my x-rays and all that stuff because they did so many checkups on me, man. You would think I was going to fly the space shuttle or something. Went through a physical. God knows how many tests. Yep. So, this card right here. It is of so much importance to someone in Jamaica. They see you with this and they're like, wow, you made it, man. You got it. You're out of here. Yep. I did it. Okay, I got something I need to show you guys, man. Now, as I said before, I came here seven years ago, and to show you how much I saved everything, I got the t shirt that I wore when I came here. I still got it, I'm gonna show it to you guys. All right, somewhere here. Let me see right here. Yep. This is it right here. I wore this t-shirt from Jamaica. And I saved it all these years, man. All these years. Can you believe it? I've had this t-shirt for like seven years before I came here. And it's been another seven years, so this t-shirt is like 14 years old, man. This is older than my kids. My oldest daughter, Imani, is 13. I had this shirt before she was born. I still got it here. 
This came with me. I'm going to keep this shirt for as long as I'm alive. I'm going to keep it to remember when I got out of there and came here, man. Too much memories on this shirt. I can't get rid of it. So I'm going to put it back in here. And I still wear it from time to time. I actually still wear it. Sometimes when I kind of like miss Jamaica because I haven't been back since, even though uh, I am planning to go back and visit some of my friends, they, they need to see me again, man. I can't just leave them like that. I will visit them and I'll bring some stuff because I know people are going to be like, yo, what do you bring, man? You made it. So I'm going to stack up and I know what they like, so uh, I got them. But yeah, I'll be paying them a surprise visit real soon, man. I'm going to walk up in there like Santa Claus and surprise everybody. Yep. So, let's get out of the closet and let me finish this by showing you the last of the stuff I want to show you. Okay, so to close this vlog off, as I said seven years ago, I landed here. I came here as a Jamaican citizen and became a resident alien and I went from being a citizen of this country where I was born and now this is what I represent that right there man now, I can't show you what's inside of here because they told me not to take any photos or anything of it, so all I can show you is I got that on the day when I was sewn in and they gave me this. Now, all American citizens that are naturalized citizens, they know what this is. They Just like this ticket back in Jamaica means everything. People here, this is their equivalent. They got this. They know they made it. So now I am a official U.S. citizen, both me and my kids. And I guess we're starting to live a new life, man. Oh, by the way, I came here with only forty-five dollars in my pocket, man. Forty-five dollars. Since then, I've acquired all of this. Most of what you see here, I bought it since I came here. Some of the stuff, at least. My bow stuff, I didn't buy any of that stuff, but then it's a long story. I'll tell you that stuff next time. I got it as a gift from bows. And this stuff here, this stuff I brought back with me because I have this in my studio back in Jamaica. I recorded some classic tunes on this man. These pieces of equipment got some history. The names for the people who were recorded on this stuff, it is legendary, I can tell you that much. I don't want to call a few names, but let me mention one person that some people might know. And he's called Egyptian from Jamaica. Yep. And Pliers, I recorded pliers from Shakadima, some pliers on this piece of equipment in my studio once. I did a dub plate with them with him. He is half of the group Shakadima some pliers that did that murder she wrote. That classic song. That guy lives eh, close by to where I'm I used to live at back in Jamaica. Because I used to live in an area known as Port Moore. Yep, and this was in my studio. I recorded some stuff with this. In fact, I recorded a lot of stuff with this. Terra Fabulous, I hope he's all right, man. Recorded on this, Ricky General, Boscom X, quite a few people. It's funny though, I never had a chance to meet Vibes Cartel, even though he was always down the road for me, down by Villa's place, but it is what it is. But people like Nuffy and Gandhi and, oh man, so many people. Warrior King, Blessed my lord. Recorded a lot of stuff with Warrior King, man. One highly respected dude. Admiral Tibet. Yep, Tibet was a very good person to work with, man. I hope I get to meet him sometime. 
in the future someplace in the world yep so once again guys thanks for watching and see you tomorrow and salute